Hi! Let's go over the first question. In this question, we are going to simplify this expression. And the way that we are going to do this is, let's multiply on the top and then divide by the bottom. Let's see. We have a 6 on the top right here, but there's no other numbers that can multiply with it. So, I will begin by writing down a 6 on the top. Then we are going to look at the variables. I have x to the 4 and then x to the neg negative 6. When you have two things that they have the same base, what you are going to do is add the exponents. That's it. Keep the base, I have the x, and let's look at I have the 4, and I'm going to add it with negative 6. So 4 plus negative 6, it's like 4 minus 6. I will end up with negative 2. So, so far, I have 6x to the negative 2. Then, let's look at the y's. I have y to the third power, y to the ninth power. Multiply it, I will get y to the 12th power. Again, because 3 plus 9 is equal to 12. Okay? And then, let's look at the z by itself. So, we just have a z to the negative 3, like that. And, over... The denominator. In the denominator, we have a parenthesis, and there's an exponent, right? The square right here, the exponent two right here. So, to take of this, I have to raise each and every term inside to the second power. So I have four, four to the second power, and let me perhaps I'll show word like this. I'm looking at this as four to the second power, and four to the second power, it's sixteen. We can compute it right away. Then, I'm looking at x to the negative 2 to the second power. In that case, I will just have to multiply negative 2 with the 2, and I will get negative 4. I will get x, this times that, I will get negative 4. Then, I look at y to the 6, raised to the second power. So, I will just need to do 6 times 2, which is 12 y to the 12, and the last part, c to the third power, to the second power, I just need to multiply the exponents once again, 3 times 2, which is 6. Just like that. Then, so far this is what we have. I see that, first of all, I have 6 over 16. I can reduce that, that fraction. And I know that 2 goes into 6 3 times, 2 goes into uh, 16, 8 times, so then I will have 3 over 8 like that. Then for the variables, when I divide the variables, if they have the same base, I just need to subtract it, subtract the exponents. Let's look at the x first. I will write it down like this. Let me do this one for x. I'm looking at x to the negative 2 over x to the negative 4. What I need to do is, I will take the exponents on the top, and then subtract the bottom. So, I will see, uh, I will have x to the negative 2, but then minus the negative 4, the exponents on the bottom. So, negative 2 minus negative 4. And if we work this out, this is like saying negative 2 plus 4. And negative 2 plus 4 is equal to a positive 2. Okay? So I have x to the positive 2 power. And since this is positive, it goes to the top. 3x to the positive 2 power on the top. Then, let's work the, with the y. I have y to the 12 over y to the 12. Notice that they are exactly the same. So I can just cancel them out right away. I have no more, I have no more y's for my answers. And the last part, I have c to the negative 3, c to the 6. So let me do another one for c right here. I'm looking at this as c to the negative 3 over c to the 6. Once again, I just need to take the top exponent minus the bottom exponent, c to the negative 3 minus 6. Negative 3 minus 6 will get c to the negative 9. And then what we have is that since we have a negative exponent, we'll turn that into a fraction. This becomes 1 over c 
to the positive 9 exponent. And then that will goes to the denominator z to the positive 9. Just like that. And as you can see that this is pretty much what we can do, right? The most that we can do. We cannot go any further. So this is the answer. This is the simplest form of this expression.